So, I have a story for you. And, uh, here we go. So, okay. So sit back and... I guess that's it. I can, yeah, sit back and get ready. <laughs> I used to live in Maryland. This is the area I spent most of my crouton years. Yeah, I was, I was a small carb in a big carbed world. Don't eat me. Don't freaking eat me. Don't eat me. Don't, don't, you better not, okay? Because now I am chock full of carbs. And that's cannibalism. That's some dark crap. During these years, during these years where I found most of my peace, the moment of true bliss was my midday nutty buddy. Okay, it was, it was nutty. But it was also my buddy. There might be people out there that don't, don't even know what a nutty buddy is. And that's sad. It's sad. Everybody should have a nutty buddy. It is like a freak, it's a wafer fortress. You get to eat one level to go to the next and the next. Hey, crap. You eat one, you have four more. That's math. And for those of you who just rush it and eat the full nutty buddy. Ha! That's not how you eat it. You know, there isn't much a kid has to look forward to than his midday nutty buddy or like extra levels on GoldenEye. So during school one day, I go to my cubby hole. Where my lunch, where my lunch is, okay? I go to the cubby hole, I put my hand in, and usually I, I hear crinkling. This is the nutty buddy saying, hey, hey. But this time was different, I didn't freaking nothing was there. So I, so I go to my teacher and I tell her that I can't find my lunch. I don't know where my freaking buddy is. She begins looking all over the place. And she goes into the in-classroom bathroom and finds Scotty. Scotty! Eating my lunch! Freaking Scotty! He was just like squatting in the corner. Eating my lunch! Eating buddy! Let me say this about Scotty. He smelled a three-year-old baloney. He had a head shaped like a peanut. It was full-blown peanut. It was not like a freaking, you know, it was like a freaking peanut-shaped head. I didn't want to say anything because I feared of getting beaten up. I mean, this guy was a mutant. Okay, he was no second grader. He was no freaking second. He should have been in the fourth grade. Me and everybody else, little croutons. You know, I didn't even know where this guy, could he be an alien? He sniffed pixie sticks. I freaking kid you not. In the bathroom. He would sniff pixie stick. He offered me a pixie stick to sniff up my nose. Abusing candy? Not in my house. Not in my house. In my house, we treat candy with respect. We eat it. We don't shove it up in the places that it doesn't belong. I remember I was so, so freaking mad at this point. All I freaking hear is the faint crinkles of my nutty budgie yelling out to me. I was just yelling. We gotta save Buddy! We gotta save him! He's killing Buddy! 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 The teacher called the principal. The principal called the parents to try to get down to the bottom of the problem. My mother arrives, and the first thing she sees is me doing schoolwork, and across the table, Scotty still pilfering his sweaty sausage links in my lunch. He's still eating, he's eating my lunch in front of me. Even after the fact of catching him in the act of just shoving it, the principal allowed Scotty to not only eat my lunch, but to continue eating my lunch as I sat there next to him, watching him eat. What is this? It's a freaking Guantanamo Bay. It's, a, it's an elementary school. She just looked over the principal and said, what the freak is going on? The principal simply states that she does not have all the facts. <laughs> it's freaking... There's not enough facts to support who ate whose lunch. The faint chocolate battle that went on right there. The freaking principal could not believe that Scotty ate my lunch. The principal actually thought that I was just making up this whole thing, my name was written on the bag, <laughs> okay? That's a fact. My mom just walked up to me, grabbed me, looked at the principal, <laughs> said, I am taking my son to lunch. She then walks over to Scotty, snatches the remaining lunch. <laughs> just as quick, it was so fast, just, just 
that shit out of his pig hoofs. And she said, not in my house. And freaking walked off. Just the look in her eyes. It was like Vigo of Ghostbusters 2. To see hallways of lava. It was so freaking scary. I sent chills down my spine. A turd almost popped out. I kid you not. A little nugget of terror almost plooped out. That's one of my, that's one of my favorite childhood memories.